This is a first for me. Power bank with a built-in flashlight? That's weird, right? And when it comes to battery banks, I buy a ton of them, then I bully them by draining them at every speed imaginable, and then I recharge them like a maniac and hope that nothing burns up in the process. This battery bank has a capacity of 10,000 milliamp hours or a watt hour capacity of 37. In terms of port, this thing has two USB-A ports, one USB-C. Like really, two USB-A's? Nothing screams budget product like having multiple USB-A ports. There is a status screen, though it is very, very basic. It looks like it'd be bigger. When it comes to uh, uh, charging protocols, not a whole lot. Max output of this product is only 20 watts, but it does have PPS rates, which I'll give them props for that. In terms of voltage accuracy and stability, PDOs are slightly better than average, but the PPSs were far above average in my test group. I pulled 28 watt hours out of 37. This is actually a pretty good ratio, which means this battery bank is fairly efficient. I will note that during recharging, you will kind of hear some of the electrical white noise coming from it. Not great. In terms of recharging this thing, it's gonna take three hours. Yeesh because the maximum input is only 18 watts. What are we in, 2020? The other weird thing I noticed about this product is that the charging rate isn't really linear. It's like odd. It was really slow getting up to 66% uh, and then the last like 25 minutes went from 66 to 100%, which is the exact opposite of what I was expecting. In terms of thermals, this product ran a little hotter during discharge and recharging, but by a tiny amount, I wouldn't be concerned about it. Anyway, it does claim that this is one of the slimmest battery banks in uh, on the market right now. And based out of my test group, it actually is the thinnest one. Product does have a uh, soft rubber finish to it, so fingerprints are going to be an issue. And this thing also has a uh, stand for your phone. So if you're charging it and you want to prop up like that you could kind of yeah like it, it kind of works right now this thing is going to set you back about 27 dollars which isn't much but for an extra 10 dollars you can get a really good battery bank so why wouldn't you i wouldn't get this product if i wasn't a reviewer two usba ports why i'm on a mission to figure out what the best battery bank is in 2025 if you plan on getting any products not this one, uh, use my links. I'm a reviewer, not an influencer. I don't really care which brand you get. I just want you guys to get the best accessories for your tech. Uh, and hopefully my reviews help you do that. Thanks for watching.